We're doing some problem solving with uh, sine and cosine rule. Let's have a look at this first question. A communications tower is constructed on top of a building as shown. Find the height of the tower. So we want to find the height just of this. Now you notice in the <coughs> diagram that we've got a right angle triangle that looks like this that I'm drawing over. And then we also have one that's another right angle triangle, if you like, that's projected over the top. So the approach to the question is going to be, if I can find this distance, <clears throat> and if I can find this distance, the difference will be the black interval that I put just there. <clears throat> so in the lower triangle, let's say B for the building height, all right? So tan 23.6 is equal to opposite B over 200. So B is equal to 200 times tan 23.6. Now if we go ahead and find what that is, we'll be able to find it. We have Two hundred times tan twenty three point six is equal to eighty seven point three seven seven eight dot dot dot. So we're going to say that's eighty seven point three eight. Now let's call the total distance that we've got here. Let's just call that h for height. So that's going to be the total angle in here. So it's going to be tan 15.9 plus 23.6 equals h over 200. So h is equal to 200 times tan. Now that's going to be 24.5, 39.5, which is equal to 39.5. Point eight six seven two dot dot dot. So the two decimal places one six four point eight seven two dp. So the tower height is equal to the large distance, the total one six four point eight seven minus eighty seven point three eight, and that's equal to. It's equal to 77.49, so let's say 77.5 meters to one decimal place. And there we have it. So there's one question done. That's not actually using any of it, it's just using right angle trigonometry and being able to do that.